Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. I am so glad you were able to join me today for a plan with me. I'm going to be working in my color block planner. Um, this is my colorful doodles color block planner that I got um, last year. And it's the one that says Hello 2022 on the cover with those beautiful doodles. And I'm going to be using my Fresh Botanicals sticker book. This is a relatively new sticker book um, to my collection. And it was recently released, that's why. And I just love this planner so much. I love how the color block has these like nice pastel accents and then the fun florals up and down the spine. This design changes every month in this planner to reflect the season and the month. And I think that is so cute. So if you're interested in seeing how I set up my color block um, planner, just keep on watching. So I use this planner for my um, teaching position. Um, at the University of San Diego and also for my communications and outreach um, part-time position at the uh, in the graduate division at the University of California San Diego and where, where actually I am also a graduate student so I like to work a lot and um, yeah it's just I just have a good time uh, making money and strengthening my my career portfolio so this planner houses all of that all of those work and job responsibilities and i have my google calendar here so that i can just uh, make a note of what it is that needs to get done so the first thing i kind of do is set down all the times that i need to be somewhere specifically so those are always wednesday wednesday evenings afternoon evenings um thursday morning and oh that was a little bit crooked and i need like a smaller box perfect um this is for a meeting i have there we go this is gonna bother me now let me see if i can fix it it's not that crooked but it's enough to Give me the heebie-jeebies. So let me try to lay this down really straight. Okay, there we go. So those are the three major, um, the three major events that are happening this week. They always happen at the same time. So Wednesday I have um, faculty meeting. Let's see. For the class I'm teaching, and that is always at 1.30 p.m. And then following that, I have an observation lab. Because I'm a new teacher, a new professor at the university, and I'm teaching a class I haven't taught ever because it's my first time at the university, um, I like to sit in and watch um, an experienced professor teach the class the day before. So I sit in in her class and I just sit in the corner and I just observe and see how she teaches the class. So that happens at 2.30 to 6.30 p.m. And it's just a really good, um, it's just a really good experience for me. So that way I feel confident going into my class the next day and knowing exactly what needs to be done and how the class is supposed to be run. Um, and I teach the following morning. So I teach my class and this is gonna be week um, 10, I believe. Is it? Let me check. Oh, I have it written in the front. Yeah, week 10. It's gonna be week 10. And I actually teach a biology laboratory. It's four hours long. And for week 10, we're gonna be reviewing arthropod, arthropod transition, transition to land. Part one, so that's the name of the lab that we're teaching, and it's 8 to 12 p.m., so bright and early morning lab. And those are the major things that I have to be at. 
Um, I potentially have a meeting on Thursday or Friday with my supervisor, but that hasn't been scheduled yet. I do like to schedule some times throughout the week to focus on this work. So let me see, I'm gonna grab some box stickers and uh, kind of make a note of those. Wow, this is such a beautiful sticker right here. The find today, find joy in today. I think I'm gonna pull for this sticker. I think I'm gonna go for it, I'm just gonna go for it. Wow. Ah, no, I hate when I do that. Let's see. Ugh. Okay. Beautiful. There we go. Let's see if there's boxes that I can go for. I wish. I wish we had more like half boxes and not as many full boxes. The, the full box is a little bit too big for me. Um, let's see, let me go into my rainbow boxes and see if I can find some nice half boxes. Maybe in pastels. Like this is a perfect size right here. So Monday, I'm gonna schedule some time to uh, prep my lesson. And 4.15, I think I'm gonna schedule this from 4.15 to 6 p.m. on Monday. And then on Thursday, I think I'm also going to schedule like lesson prep. And this usually kind of happens naturally. I don't really need to write it. <laughs> Um, but 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. I'm basically prepping like two hours before each class. So, yeah. I usually don't need to write that down to remember it because I, I am always like prepping right before, but I do like writing it down to keep, a tra keep track of like how much time I spend preparing for class so and to just remind myself that I do need to you know be cognizant of the fact that I do want to have some, a chunk of time right before class to make sure everything is ready to go and then the last thing the last lesson that I or the last workshop prep that I want to do is going to be in the afternoon and um, this is something new. I don't tend to work on teaching on Fridays because I tend to like work so much on Wednesday and Thursday on teaching that I just kind of want to like forget about it until the weekend where I end up working again. But I want to like mim minimize the time I spend working on the weekend. And so I'm going to try to cram it in give myself a two hour chunk of time on Friday because usually at this time, four to 6 p.m., I'm like winding down. I usually take half days Friday, but I'm thinking of just taking the full day Friday and just not, try not to work on the weekends. I'm really trying to get that, make that a goal of mine. Even if I end up working like pretty late on a Friday, at least, um, at least that means that I don't work on Saturday or Sunday. I mean, it's kind of inevitable. I have just so much to do at work. I mean, I'm not complaining. I chose to work so much and I do make a good amount of money because I work so much and that helps me enjoy my life, but I do tend to have to um, work on the weekends for a few hours. So yeah. And then for the weekends, I always try to give myself 
like a checklist box um, because just yeah there's just a lot to do and the weekends are like a time where I feel like I'm able to you know work on um, work on my teaching stuff because during the work week I'm mostly focused on I'm mostly focused on my research and so it doesn't it's not too like stressful to me to like grade papers and grade quizzes and like prepare lessons as it is to like conduct scientific research I feel like that's so much harder and so it's not too like mentally draining to do like teaching work for me so um, I don't I guess what I'm trying to say is that if I had to work on the weekends I'd much rather work on like teaching stuff which is fun and not too intense as opposed to you know science stuff so I'm gonna put this sticker down here and then what I like to do on the weekends usually I try to grade quizzes if they've had quizzes grade quizzes um, if I have to create a quiz this is the time to make the quiz and then um, update update grades grade quizzes update grades create quiz and then also review the slide deck review lab number 11 and go over um, at least 20 slides of the of the PowerPoint that we're teaching. What's nice about this class is that when you start, uh, when you enter as a as an instructor, they actually already have a lot of the lab set up. So in terms of like PowerPoints and stuff, that's already like provided and created and given to you. But what is like not so nice about that is that the slides are really outdated and they are um, not very well not very well curated I would say um if you've sat through powerpoints and you've seen a bad powerpoint you know what I'm talking about um if you really want someone to learn from a powerpoint slide you really have to make it engaging you have to ensure that there's not too much text on one slide because then people get distracted reading it they don't hear what you're saying they don't understand what's written on it they end up missing half of what's written on the slide so they don't understand at the end of the day you really have to uh, it's an art form like the powerpoint lecture is an art form and you really have to uh, make sure that your your powerpoints are like easily digestible and easily understandable and well produced and well curated and the powerpoints that they give us are not that good and so they do give us like the powerpoint but i feel like i have to spend so much time really updating the powerpoint and making it something i'm proud and happy to be teaching so I still feel like it's almost as much work as if and they just told me to like teach it with my own PowerPoint which honestly might even have um might have been easier because I already have like PowerPoints that I have created um and I have polished and I have you know taught before so but uh yeah so unfortunately I still have to go over all the PowerPoints that they give us so I have to review the slides so that usually is what happens on Saturday or Sunday sometimes um, this stuff happens on Sunday I usually just end up putting like a checklist on uh, on either Saturday or Sunday and then just deciding when the weekend comes what it is that needs to get done and when it's gonna get done so I think that's about it. I don't have that much else going on here. As the week progresses, I'll definitely, um, you know, write, write more and fill this up. Let's see, where should I put this guy? Maybe here. Oh, it's a little bit. Um, yeah, as the weekend progresses, I, I'll fill this up and I'll like jot down thoughts and ideas and notes. But I think, I think we're good for now. Let me see if I can add some more of these interesting stickers with the black background. 
These are really interesting. Okay, yeah, I think we're good for now. Um, and you know what? There's something I totally, a couple of things I want to make a note of. So this is this week right now. I need to submit my time card because that is due on Monday and I just want to get it done over the weekend so I don't have to worry about it on Monday. It's kind of just like busy work, so just want to get that done. And then also, I think I'm, I have to write this email um, to, to some students. Uh, I have to inform them that they didn't get chosen for this uh, project I was working on. Um, I had to interview like a bunch of graduate students for a multimedia project I'm working on as part of my um, communications and outreach uh, part-time and I had to interview a bunch of graduate students to see and select from all of those interviewed just a handful to go on to participate in the project and unfortunate it's just unfortunate I wasn't able to include everyone I just had to pick um, just a few because of budgeting reasons so I still have to email everyone who wasn't able to be selected and let them know that they weren't being that they aren't being selected so I have to do that I've been kind of procrastinating on that and I have to send a draft to my supervisor and get his approval on that I probably want to do that today so that way I can send that out soon this week so yeah I'm gonna give myself a little list of things that I need to keep an eye on um, let's see scheduled the plan I want a box that says like remember or noted take note yeah maybe this this will do here Take note and then um, emails to graduate alternates and then also um, what else um, yeah I think that's it I'm just gonna make a note of that on the sidebar so I'm kind of just like it's in the back of my head throughout the week make sure that goes out and I think that's it I'm, I think it's cute you know what actually I want to add some washi tape I have this washi I think it'll work it's got like the dark background and the florals so let me add this here at the bottom And then maybe this washi tape here. I'm really trying to use my washi tape more. I have so much washi tape and there was a time in my life where I was just like using it every spread. And I feel like I've definitely kind of gotten away from that and I wanna get back into using it. So. And I think that's it. I think that's the spread. So that's my boyfriend's calling me. So I'll catch you next time. Bye.